Hello, this is Wampire. Today's knife lesson is going to be in the reverse grip. Okay, uh, for today what I'm going to show you guys is an actual combo. Starting it off, we're going to go like this, one and two. Okay, so we're going to start off with this figure eight pattern, one and two. Uh, real quick, I want to address real fast is that uh, a lot of times people, like, they say that this, this kind of stabbing motion right here uh, scene made famous by the film Psycho, the shower scene stab like this, all right? Uh, that, that is a super easy attack to defend against and they kind of treat it like as a joke. However, they say, they also say that if you encounter a person using a knife in the reverse grip, beware because they're going to be a really good knife fighter. So it kind of like contradicts itself. Uh, the bottom line is, you know, I would just say don't worry about what people say and just practice, okay? What people say often, it just switches back and forth anyway, and there's really no point in getting it stuck in that argument. Uh, the bottom line is just train, okay? So right here, we're going to go one and two. The important thing about this is we don't want to stab ourselves. It might hook an arm. You might miss the target, and if it hooks the arm, it will be great because you could kind of use it to hook and move their arm out of the way and then go for the body so that that's actually a good thing if it gets stuck in that sense or we can use it to move them around or get closer to our target all right so if it hooks it's not necessarily a bad thing but if it hooks and we're pulling and we're not really paying attention to how we're pulling you know we don't like I said I don't want to stab myself so make sure that you're going off at an angle one and two you see if I pull this way and I pull this way the blade is going to be off of my body this way one and two so keep that in mind one two one two one two all right so from right there we're gonna go one two those are the two diagonal motions and then this is like a punch is what we're gonna do and we're actually gonna use the edge side right here so you're gonna come in with a punch so once again one two punch we want the follow through motion because this follow through motion makes the slash very uh, much more wider, more powerful, and it leads us to our final move right here. So we come in here and it brings the arm this way, towards back towards me, which I do want. If my opponent comes after me for some reason, then you see, after I throw this move, it brings the blade back right here. Okay, so it kind of gives me a defensive option, all right? But what I really want to do is from here, boom, and use this momentum here to actually push off the knife and go in with a, with a quick stab right there. So once again, let's do the entire move. It goes one, two, three, four. So I'm pushing off with my free hand right here as the arm comes comes in boom I push it back like that so once again one two three four one two three four one two three four